Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E.H.E. the reason you see me. Well, what about that drink champs interview? Because that seems to be coming up a lot, Turk. I mean, how do you feel about the things that you said on that interview? And I mean, how do you feel like that's played a part in the division between you and your brother? Rolex watches and we had Geneva's. Mm, that's a... Listen to what he's saying. We was faking it till we make it, Nori. Listen to what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? See, a lot of niggas not gonna say that. Why you turn that on right now, bro? Run through you. You guaranteed to get smashed if you uptown and anything fake about you, bro. I ain't never been fake in no kind of way. I ain't never wore no fake jewelry. Nigga cap talking. Nigga bitch made to say I wore fake jewelry. Nigga mm. pussy to say I wore fake jewelry. I ain't never wore no fake jewelry. Nigga, I'm from uptown New Orleans. Nigga, I was 15, 16 years old playing with M's by the time I was 20, 21. Nigga, I had $30 million. Didn't even day. know that Drank Champs interview was taken out of context, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, when I spoke on that Drank Champ, I spoke as a we. You know what I'm saying? Not no direct person like, oh, he doing bad, man. He don't got what he got. Because if you're going to hold me to that, you got to hold me to all the good things I said on Drink Champs as well. Because mm. there's a lot of good things that I said on Drink Champs that nobody talk about. Mm. You feel me? But people talk about the things that was misunderstood that probably was bought to them in a misunderstanding way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it wasn't nothing worth being mad about. But you probably get a misunderstanding why like, man, damn. I ain't want nobody to know that. You feel me? Yeah. And in my life and where I'm at, bro, I feel like, you know, if I did something when I was a kid, when I was young, I'm past it now. I look at it like other people are going through it and doing the same things. You know what I'm saying? Look, it's cool to be able to do this. And, and when you get older, you know what I'm saying? Acknowledge that you did it to show your growth. Wow. Hey, man, guys. Hey, man, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. Check out what's going on with Boss Talk 101, man. Make sure you share the interviews as well and also the reviews that I've been doing here lately, man. Hope you guys are enjoying the reviews, uh, just the, the, the quick reviews on different things, different topics, just to give my insight because a lot of people be in the comments like, man, what you gonna say about this and that? Well, here it is. I spoke yesterday and I, I pretty much told you that, you know, uh, Birdman had got with GD and it was a dope, dope uh, uh, live interview. And, you know, that's something that I value because Birdman don't just jump on all the time. Now, I see also my boy Beehive, which that's my guy, man. Turk, like I said, I rock with all the people in the South, so don't never get it twisted. This is in-house information where we all, you know, people looking, it's all public information. So I speak and I speak from a place of love. The one thing I can say is that when you look at what happened, Birdman comes up, speaks on the fact of he ain't wearing no fake jewelry. I'm rocking with Birdman on that. Like I said, people been getting money in the South, old money. At the end of the day, there's no reason. If he did it, then okay. It was on the album cover or whatever. That may have been something that was projected in a way. I don't know. But I can tell you, looking at what I've seen in Birdman them, the way their finances have been rolled through, doing the $30 million deal at such a very young age, um, also being in the street, the hustling, all the stuff that lined up in the streets, the money been coming through the South, like I said, We've been doing it. We've been talking about it. When you look at P, when you look at Pimp C, UGK, Rap A Lot, J Prince, all the stuff we do, we line up. Okay. But here, here it goes. Turk says, you know, he don't really, he it, like they took his interview out of context. I don't know. Like I said, it seems to me like you, we get on these other platforms and no disrespect to drink champs, no disrespect to none of these other guys. They do a great job. A lot of these guys, a lot of these new artists, a lot, they feel like when they get there, the water's a little bit colder when they get on these other platforms. They say stuff, they get to drinking, having a good time. They feel like a lot of these numbers is, is, is fluffed up. Uh, the engagement, you, you know, a lot of it is, is really pretty much people just, you know, uh, playing with these numbers. 
I'm solid. I've never I've always been organic with whatever I do. So at the end of the day, I'm just really, really surprised at the fact of how our people jump through the window and over the wall to get on some of these platforms and some of these other demographics have nothing against them. I see what you do. Whenever you get an opportunity, you go and you do whatever with everybody else. And then you start telling and talking and saying stuff that you might not ought to say, because you got to realize we built this from nothing. It was a time when they ignored the South. It was a time when they didn't even want to let us in. Now you get in here and you start saying stuff that really you might ought to hold back on information if it is something that's true because of the way that it's going to look when, it look, when, when, when people look at it. When true pioneers look at it like Birdman, when true pioneers look at it like Jay Prince, when, when true pioneers look at it like uh, P and Luke down there, when these guys look at it because they paved such a way, Bun B. We got to keep our credibility so we can't jump on all these other platforms and start doing this stuff and saying stuff and not understand what demographic and who's watching and how we look into these other demographics. No matter how you want to play it, demographic becomes a thing at some point. But to get back to Turk, Turk is a dope dude. Um, I can't lie. I rock with uh, cash money, hot boys, the whole movement is hard. I can't even play with that. But. I'd like to see them get back together and, 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 and really get this sorted out. But I think, Turk, I think you have to you have to as a as a younger man dealing with a brother who paved the way, who put the money up. Birdman and Slim did a lot for New Orleans, a lot for us. Sharani, Sharani told me these stories at Peaches. So we got to do better, man, when it comes to the mentors, to the people that rock with us, that gave us opportunity no matter what. And I can say, you know, um, Birdman them afforded these guys an opportunity. They wouldn't have had none of this stuff if it wasn't for Birdman and Slim doing the deals, rocking out. You guys forget about that because at the end of the day, we get a little bit of leverage and leeway. Then we start feeling some kind of way. Well, they didn't pay me what I was worth. I get it. But some stuff is better enough said. Better enough not said. I'm sorry. So you have to be careful on how you line your words up. That's all I'm saying. And like I said, when I seen these guys, this has been solid all the way through down south. I ain't gonna lie, been playing with money. Cash money is the name of it. You speak things into existence and you know already the things they done accomplished from Maybachs, from the biggest homes, from the biggest move, coming from nothing, man. So you just gotta be careful when you start speaking on these brothers, man. And even if you in the picture, you gotta be careful. If you got a problem with them, pull them to the side. The word of God said that you got to pull a brother to the side. You got a problem with them. You go to these airwaves with it. Then it is what it is. But at any rate, um, that's that's how I feel about that. You know, like I said, I'm just I, I just had to state my state my case when it come down to it. Now, my boy also had something to say, Turk, about uh, the way he felt like, you know, his 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 music was in comparison to hot boys and what they could have could not have done. Yeah, man. Nigga, nigga, you can't when a nigga did it. Like, you can't say, man, I need a hot girl. That verse that Turk did, that wasn't the hardest verse on that song. I ain't like that song. Da -da -da -da. Nigga, that was the second single. Singles make albums go platinum. If my verse on that song was the hardest verse on that motherfucker, guess who made that bitch go platinum? But I ain't in this bitch trying to take all the credit because we made that shit go platinum. Wow, man, here we go. So he felt like some song he had had the hottest verse and he made it go platinum, but he ain't tripping and saying he made it go platinum. I don't know, that's subjective. You guys get in the comments, tell me what you think. Was Turk the reason for um, certain albums going platinum? Was he that kind of guy that was causing that kind of noise? Get in the comments. Let me know what you think. That's all I'm saying. But I can say he was definitely a part of it. As I keep stressing, he definitely is a part of the Hot Boys. Nobody's contesting that. Just let me know. Do you feel like he was the one that was making albums go platinum over at, 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 at that whole camp with Cash Money and the Hot Boys? I need to really hear that. I need to hear from y'all on that. Um, like I said, it's a family affair. These guys ended the day like 
my boy uh, a Beehive said, at the end of the day, they family, and we be a fool, damn fool, he said, to think they're not going to come back together at some point. I really and truly hope so. It's not looking good right now, but be jizzle, everybody's tripping and talking. And, and, and like I said, you heard what Birdman had to say about it, man. But I can say, man, keep your business out of other folks' business. That's the whole game, and that go for the whole South. That go for everybody down here, man. When they make these lists, Complex, all these other guys, Hip Hop HD, they don't put no sub, they don't put no beehives on there. They don't put no boss talks, no real lives. They don't put these guys, they don't, they'll put a drink champs. They'll put a, uh, they, you know, they'll put a Joe Button. They'll put a uh, DJ Academics. They'll put a anything, but they, they don't put a big facts. So you guys got to be smart enough to know who you are and what you're doing when you're doing these interviews with people who really don't have your best interest at heart. If you don't want what you say to be manipulated, then come to the platform where it's not manipulated. And I see that's what Turk doing, getting over there with Beehive, because Beehive gonna put it down the way it's supposed to be put down. Man, I never get no recognition for it, but putting it all the way down. And that's what I came in this game doing, trying to figure out a way to make sure we that this, this playing field is even. And a lot of time it's just really not, guys. So you guys get behind these channels and these guys down here so they can tell a story as t as Turk is doing, Birdman getting with GD. These are dope moves for me. Anytime we keep in our business, our business, I'm all the way live with it, man. But all these other people that talking and saying whatever, think about the demographics and what he's saying and where he's saying it at, and then come back and tell me, uh, you know, the truth should be told this way. At the end of the day, I think if, if you're going to say something at the end of the day, all parties really need to be there so y'all can really break it down. Because at the end of the day, that way, what would that conversation be like if all the hot boys would have been on Drink Champs that day? You think it would have been the same? Let me know. Get in the comments, man. Hey, man, thank you guys for watching Boss Talk 101 Reviews. Let me know what you think about this whole ordeal. My boy Turk, my boy Birdman, my boy uh, BG, Juvie, all them boys, man. Man, it fresh. It refresh, fresh. It refresh. All them boys, man, it's big love, man. Shout out to Slim, man. I'm going to keep reading these books we talked about. Holla at your boy. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.